Hello everyone, this is Ayat from Inspire and Ignite and in this video I'm going to answer all the questions you asked on Facebook to me about MS by the search in IITs. So the basic question was actually started with Sachit, then I decided like there might be a lot of questions and I need to answer all of them. Because he also mentioned that I wrote a post a long time back. So and it is the time for me also to revise the things <clears throat> so what did, what did I do is I divided the questions into multiple sections and I'm going to answer them one by one the first question is from Supriya Gangoli he asked about like what is the need of a kind of course called MS when there is MTech when there is a course master degree course MTech is already available and a similar question is asked by Aishwarya Paviskar and she asked what is the basic difference between MS and MTech and what should be our approach while pursuing both of them I mean either of them so the first and foremost important thing is we, should, we need to understand this MTech course is only in India it's not all across the world the difference between MTech and MS is basically MTech is a two years course where you finish certain number of credits and the, the learning is a bit advanced like for example you are learning algorithms you might learn a bit advanced algorithms there and databases and all other stuff and if you learn some design techniques and all that so that that you have an advanced level course for for mtech degree but when it comes to ms it's not only two years degree where you will also spend some time learning about the latest technology and latest creation and the state of our technology at present and you try to solve a particular problem in that. So that's how the MTech and MS programs are different. And also the scholarship for MTech program and MS program is different too. Maybe for two years they get the same scholarship, but in third year definitely the scholarship is higher than MTech program. So what is the need? Like when we have a master degree program for two years, and then what is the need for, for a program called MS? I think uh, the basic need for having an MS program is to satisfy two things. The first thing is like to give students a bit more depth into the subject. And the second one is to satisfy and uh, train them for, for, for teaching positions as well as the research positions. While as, while like, you know, especially in India, why the MTech program came into existence, existence is because we needed workforce quickly at the time when the programs were started so India was growing and then people thought like I mean the, the people who designed the programs uh, engineering programs they decided like we need workforce quickly to come out of the education and then join the industry to help the help the industry as well as the country to grow so that is why I think the MTech programs came into existence and that's why they are very particular about specific subjects there are specializations into it and uh, once you finish the program and you definitely go into the research and go into the industry quickly then the next question is the only thing is only thing that is bugging me this is from Abhinav he says like what is the future after completing this course and I'll co cover this questions a bit later next question is why MS by program MS by research program has given less weightage than MTech programs in IITs this totally have to do with the culture and the atmosphere and the society we are living in because you know in India everybody expect I mean everybody expect by themselves and their parents and the society expect them to finish their education quickly and go for uh, go for pursuing their uh, I mean go for pursuing their, their livelihood and go and join some company and start start living a life of a, of a man but I think that is that, that that is totally have to do with the society it's not something like uh, the course itself has some uh, some low value or course itself has some some low points that that makes a course higher than the other course no it is not that it's totally totally because of the societal pressure that makes a, a program program much lucrative than the other program i guess whereas i where, whereas i myself consider ms program is more valuable and worthy than than the master and than the mtech program itself because the way industry is changing, the way the the research is changing the world, it, it totally needs in-depth knowledge about a particular subject. 
then okay when it comes to weightage less research okay is the next question is from Abhishek Kumar he asked is doing MS course for three years from IIT is what prepare is worth or preparing dropping for a year and preparing for gate is gate and then taking admission into mtech is worth it's a very important question like shall you drop drop for a year and take uh, gate coaching instead of uh, instead of like getting into uh, iits and and doing uh, and and taking that program so i think uh, the most uh, advantageous thing is to go into iits join the course because you know first of all after taking a one year gate coaching it is not certain that you might you might crack the gate or the competition or the paper or the uh, or even the situation on the the day of the gate exam these things are totally uncertain for you so it is not guaranteed that you might get a seat in iits if you prepare for a year or not so what i recommend you is like i i read few posts on on ini uh, mtech admission facebook group People mentioned very clearly that they joined IITs for a year and then they also prepared for GATE during that time and then after that they joined ISC Bangalore now. So it is it is a good opportunity for you to get into MS program where you will get you will get in touch with the advanced subjects and the people who have cracked the GATE uh, with high scores. You get their experience there and you get an atmosphere there and I think that's that's a much better option and then you can also prepare for GATE as well there. So never lose an opportunity and also like while well, doing MS you might change your mind like okay let's complete MS here and then do PhD in some of the world's top universities that's quite possible there. So I recommend you to go for go for MS program. Then which criteria then the, the next question is from Nitish Kumar can we complete MS in two years? No, it is not possible to, in India especially, it is not possible to complete MS in, in two years. You need uh, three years, but abroad it's possible to finish in two years. The next question is from Vishal Vishwakarma. He asks which criteria plays major role in getting in, getting an MS seat, whether it is gate rank or the interview. I think uh, the major reason for conducting an interview for gate, uh, for MS by research program is this, because you know, many students, they are very class students, they have studied really hard and they are very smart students but on the day of the gate exam actually because of competition, because of pressure they could not perform well. So what they try to do during the MS interview is to call all those students in, they give an opportunity to them to perform in the interview. So I think once you get an interview call, what plays a major role is your interview for MS. And the next thing is what is the difficulty level of interview for for um, interview for MS? Is it tougher than MTech interview? I think it's a bit tougher than MTech interview because you know you are going to spend a lot of time with one particular professor. So that professor who is interested in you might ask you a lot of questions there. So he wants to know whether the candidate is really worth spending three years with him or not. So I think it's a bit tougher, but mostly it is similar to MTech. It's not definitely not like PhD interview or something. Sir, uh, okay. Uh, Pallab Sarkar asked me the question about like what to do after, I mean, is what are the possibilities of doing PhD after BTech and all that stuff. And that I'm going to make another video and that video will come up soon. So. It is possible to do, in all IITs, it is possible to do PhD after BTEC. Then you will ask me one more question like whether it is good to do PhD after BTEC or MS after BTEC. I recommend you to do MS after BTEC because you can try to go into PhD into some of the top world's top universities. So that is the high possibility that you might land up in MIT or Stanford or Harvard. So I prefer you join a master degree program, MS by research program, do a very good research, publish some quality papers and then you definitely can easily land to MIT and Stanford. So that, that changed your life entirely, that will change your life entirely. 
and then Pallav Sarkar also asked one question is having a research paper published in BTEC is mandatory for these MS by research programs it is not mandatory but having writing a research program I mean a paper in some conference both BTEC and MTEC uh, sorry BTEC is, is a really great thing that gives an it, uh, impression to professors that they you really want to do research and you're really interested in learning new things I mean uh, trying new things doing new experiments and present and you have the capability to present the results so that is one of the most important thing another thing Abhishek Vordhan asked me was I did not answer his question for three times and he's very angry with that and he wanted to know with the 754 all India ranking is he can expect IIT Delhi MS program I think uh, MS by research program I gave the cutoffs on INI gate cut, uh, cut, uh, gate uh, INI IIT gate cutoff tool so you can go and see that if it is possible to get an interview call but I definitely say that once you get an interview call it totally depends on your interview how you perform there so I think mostly you will get a call and then the question is in reality what are the advantages and disadvantages students fail, students face while doing MS program the biggest advantage they get is they get a time to do some quality research there learn about a subject and find out the problems in there and then solve a bit of it and they also get an opportunity to meet a lot of uh, attend some conferences and meet some people there and there are high opportunities possible to go abroad for internships and some short research programs for MS students whereas because the MTech program is very limited it's very difficult to get into some internship recent internship programs abroad and another difficulty another problem usually MS student feel is the lack of concentration because you know the MS and PhD is highly self-motivated program and if you lose motivation you it will take a lot of time and also on the same time you will not get the advantage of uh, doing the complete program so it is actually totally depends on a person how self-motivated he is and what what kind of work he wants to do so if you are taking a MS program you got to be very planned and if you are taking a PhD program you got to be very planned because you know even in smaller IITs even in the IITs like you know less ranked I mean when, when I ranked IITs and the IITs which are at the lower rank you can usually see people doing a lot of good research and publishing a lot of good research I myself did PhD in, in uh, IIT Roorkee and I thank God I got uh, IBM Outstanding PhD award given by Nobel laureate so the award was given in IIC and I had a chance to meet IIC director and I, I had a personal talk with him I will explain I will make another video for that but the important thing is like it all totally depends on your motivation how motivated you are and how willing you are working to, to working to work towards your goals because you know professors even in MS and PhD program it is like that you keep sleeping in your room nobody will come and disturb you and nobody come and ask you like why are you sleeping or so like that your professor is not worried about you and at the end of the day you think like your professor is not caring about you and he is not guiding you it is not his job one thing we need to understand is that is why this program is pretty difficult and the, uh, there are advantages there are disadvantages in this so as I said like you have a lot of time to do your research and on the same time that that time can become uh, become a demotivating factor for you so you have to make a balance between that and take advantage of it once you take advantage of it it's pretty easy to get into top universities in the world and I, I have seen a lot of people doing that and uh, how much requirement is currently going for government and academic le lectureship program so for MS is I think uh, it's not sufficient to go for lecture to be a lecturer because you know in private colleges in some government colleges you can become lecturer like NITs and all that that might give you relaxation but for becoming a professor in, in IITs you must have a PhD degree so you need to know about that and uh, the finally the question from Sachit is apart from Zahid Sassol question uh, review um, information like pursuing this R&D companies there are a lot of R&D companies out there in every domain and every company which is world class 
they, they have a very big R&D uh, center but mostly when they recruit M.Tech students they usually think they usually think that uh, they will they will actually do research in uh, uh, they will do their work not not conduct any research like there are certain projects going on they go and take uh, the, they take part uh, into those projects regarding placements of uh, MS and M.Tech I think uh, as I said like the placements are almost similar in both the cases but the, the, the only thing is like when you are ready to finish your MS program you got to go and sit with the placement for along with MTEC students. So the placement is almost similar for, for both the programs. The only thing is once you get into a company and I think mostly research oriented companies and, and the companies who are performing really excellent in the in the domain usually prefer to take MS students because they might be working in the same area as the student worked upon in, in university. So that is an advantage for the company. They take them and directly they can get into the work. So once, I think once you get into the company, it's all about how you perform, perform along with all other employees. And once you perform a bit better than them, you have like research papers written, then you will be given extra advantage there. And it is also highly possible that you might join, join some of the best companies in the world. So I think the placements are excellent. The only thing is like MS program, the only thing is, the only thing you need is, is highly self-motivation. Without that, I think it, it is very difficult program for you. I hope I answered all the questions uh, in this video and I hope uh, you find it very useful. And uh, regarding the subscription, I would like to give a note here. Do inspire to inspire and ignite video channel on YouTube and uh, like us on Facebook and follow us on Google Plus. And uh, do not forget to share with this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching the video and I wish you really good luck ahead. Thank you.